Thank you very much for joining us uh, this afternoon, Sean, taking uh, some time off from your preparation time. We really appreciate it. Yes, uh, we have uh, various media on the call here with you today. Uh, I'm going to introduce them by their name and by their media outlet. And you can go ahead and answer the questions. We're going to start off with Dave Biddle from 24-7 Sports. Thank you. Hi, Sean. Um, what are your impressions of Clemson's wide receivers? I know you know you faced some of those guys last year, but some of them are, are relatively new. Just what are your take on their wideouts? Um, Clemson always got a good background of wide receivers. Um, they got a lot of not a lot of new guys. I don't play last year, but um, they got guys that make plays on, on the perimeter. They got um, a great slot receiver. Um, and they got a great quarterback. So they always have great players on their teams. So they're, they're, we're really looking forward to that matchup against them. So. Thank you. Our next question will be from Brendan Gulick from Buckeyes Now. Hi, Sean. Congratulations on your All-American nomination here this year. Uh, I'm curious if you could maybe evaluate your play this year. Um, obviously a pretty impressive distinction, but I, how do you feel that you've played? And, and do you feel that, you know, even though you've changed positions this year, that um, your play was worthy of, of an All-American nomination? Uh, I feel like I could, I could always do better at the end of the day. So I always feel like I could do better, but uh, I'm, I'm glad I got an uh, All-American nomination. But at the end of the day, I'm not really focused on them. I'm just focused on the national championship and this game right here. So I'm um, just really looking forward to that. But at the end of the day, I know I could get better, and there's things I got to work on. We will now go to Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com. Hey, Sean, obviously uh, this whole season's been about a, a lot of new players uh, stepping up in the secondary and taking on bigger roles. And then now this is a sort of a different stage for a lot of those guys. It's, it's even though they've been playing this year, this is a step up. Anything you're kind of saying to those guys or how do you feel like it's maybe your responsibility to help lead these guys into this, a game like this that they've never really experienced before? Um, really, a lot of them played last year in, in that uh, semifinal game we played. They played in that nickel package, um, Josh Proctor and um, – and Marcus Hooker played our nickel package last year with us. So they, they understand just the, the, the value of this game. And then a lot of them play special teams, so they understand because special teams is very, very important in big games like this. So um, a lot of them understand just what, what, what this game is going to be like. And then they, they've been – everybody's just been getting better each, each game and each week. So now we just pre – we've been preparing, preparing, preparing. Now we're just really looking forward to this matchup and just um, just getting get what we want. We'll now go to Tim May from Letterman Row. Sean, I'll ask the question. Uh, you only got to play – you didn't even get to play a full half last year. How much are you looking forward to this? How much does that still stick with you a little bit, what happened there? What did you learn from that incident? And, uh, you know, how? I, and like I said, how much How much are you looking forward to another shot at Clemson yourself? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I didn't get to play a full half last year. By the end of the day, uh, it's a team sport. It's not a me sport. So – um, we, we ended up losing last year, so it's a new year, new team, new them, new us, and new place, uh, same date. So I'm uh, really just looking forward to it and just, just playing against them and, and getting to our goal. And, that, and the goal is to get, get a semifinal game, and now we're here. And then after that, we look for the future. So. We'll now go to Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Sean, I know that your decision to come back, getting to play in this game specifically was a big part of that decision. Do you feel an additional pressure to really play at your best because of that? Um, no pressure, no pressure. At the end of the day, it's a team sport. It's not a me sport. So I'm just focused on my team and the things that we need to do to get better and to, to win this game. So um, it's really no pressure. Um, just staying as calm and just trying to keep on burning the fire until game day. And um, just really looking forward to the game. We will now go to Bill Rabinowitz from Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Sean. Obviously, you've gotten uh, honored this year, and, and the defense's front seven has been praised pretty much. Um, the secondary, though, is taking some criticism, and the one game that, that really featured a, a really good passer uh, in the Indiana, mm -hmm. you threw five, almost 500 yards. How ready do you, you guys feel you are as a secondary for this kind of challenge with Trevor Lawrence? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to be ready. Um, at the end of the day, Indiana have a great quarterback, just like Trevor Lawrence is a great quarterback. They both put the football in the right spot, right time, and everything. So they both got – both teams have great receivers, and now we just got to keep on getting better, and we've been getting better over the weeks and just, just getting ready for this game. At the end of the day, it's a national championship game. It's one of the two top, top teams in the nation playing against each other. So at the end of the day, their O-line and our D-line is going to be even. Their, their uh, receivers and our secondary is going to be even. So it, it just comes down to the little things. Next question will be from Whitney Harding from NBC4. 
Hey, Sean, while you were sitting in that locker room last year and watching the game, what did you learn from that perspective of playing and then watching what happened that maybe you can take into this game this year? Um, really just, just the, it's, it's, it, the little things really matter. Special team is going to be, I think, I really feel like this game is going to be one of the special teams and, and just on the defensive side is tackling. But um, it's, it's really the little things really matter. And those are the things that win the game. So. We'll now go to Clay Hall from WSYX. Sean, one last thing on last year and the targeting. Did you, Justin said he thought the momentum changed. And I'm not putting it on you, but that call changed momentum. And there was another big call, as you remember, in that game. Uh, but did that sway things? Did that in some way give Clemson an edge? Um, definitely. I feel like it gave Clemson an edge. It did change momentum. Um, I'm not a selfish person, but it did change momentum at the time. By the end of the day, it's not even that just that one play that changed my mind. There's a lot of plays that we could have made that, that we shot ourselves in the foot from to lose that game. So now go to Zachary Brazeler from New York Post. So did what do you, how would you kind of classify this rivalry that's kind of emerged between the two schools? You guys have obviously played twice in the playoff. Kind of there's been a little back and forth with the coaches somewhat. How would you kind of, how would you, you know, it's clearly a rivalry, right? I mean, how would you kind of characterize it? Um, well, I characterize it as we never beat Clemson. So we, we, we have to be that team and that, and that's what we're trying to do. So in, in our history, our past history, we never beat them. So that, that's our goal is to win this game and, and just go from there. Next up is Phil Harrison from Buckeyes Wire. Hey, Sean, it's, it's kind of amazing how things worked out. I know you came back for another shot to, you know, get to the college football playoff again, but also you get a chance to play Clemson yet again. Mm -hmm. So redemption's kind of right there based on last year. And I know the entire team kind of, that's kind of what they were looking forward to. Do you get a sense that in preparation for this game, do you get a sense that the team is a little bit more focused? Not that you don't focus for every game, but it's a little bit more focused, a little bit more um, added pressure in, in practices and things like that is leading up to this game? Um, I agree. Um, everybody, everybody that was that's playing now has something to do with last year's game, so that everybody just have that taste in their mouth and they understand what 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 what's at stake. So everybody's just laser focused and just really really worried worried about this game and then just trying to take it from there. But this this game is very important to everybody, and we we definitely want to win. So. We'll now go to Patrick Murphy from Twenty Four Seven Sports. Sean, in a normal year, I feel like we'd have a better sense of seven and, and what he is as a player, but we've only seen him in six games. Not a lot of teams have, have thrown a ton on you guys. So paint the picture for me. What is seven? How ready is he for this moment? Um, what, what kind of player are, are we going to see on Friday? Oh yeah. Seven, seven is going to be just, just watch. He's going to be, he's going to make some plays. And uh, seven is just a great player, very athletic. He's, he's really different in his size. I mean, 200 pounds being able to run like that and very, very strong. So he's very, very different as a, as a DB, but seven, he's definitely going to make plays and it, it, he's just going to do his thing. Um, he, he's been laser focused and I've been talking to him and just keeping his focus and just trying to help him out on different things. But seven, you're going to, you're going to see seven. He's going to do some things. Next up is Stephen Means from Cleveland.com. Hey, Sean. You guys don't typically follow receivers around at Ohio State, but mm -hmm. that's something they do at the NFL level, a level you're trying to get to, and your coach just came from the NFL. And kind of given the personnel that wide receiver room and your experience both inside and outside, has that been a conversation at all with you and Coach Combs? And is that something that, you know, you would be in favor of doing? Um, no, it, have, it haven't been a conversation, so. We'll go to Austin Ward from Letterman Row for our final question. Sean, uh, you guys had to scramble a little bit at safety two weeks ago, and Josh uh, really kind of stepped up there. Where have you seen Proctor grow the most this year, and how impressed were you with what he gave you guys against Northwestern? Uh, from last year to this year, is development of learning the game. I feel like Josh, Josh and Hook, just the, the development of learning the game and, and just getting better. Um, at the end of the day, we all have in that secondary room, we all have something to work on and we've been working on it, working on it. So now we just got to showcase it in this game. But um, for Josh, he, he's just, he's an athlete. He can play all five positions in my opinion. Um, that's just how it is. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Come visit us over at BuckeyeGrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web.